Hey Jason, my name is Jared. I work with Eddie and what we're going to do is we're going to go over uh, just three things to help you get ranked on Google when you're ready to get that website built. All right. So first thing we're going to talk about is the content and the reasons why we want to be uh, found for content. And then we're going to talk about backlinks and then we're talking about citations to finish it up. All right. So when we're looking at content, what we actually are talking about is just anything that we can come through here and search, right? So you see this video didn't get highlighted, so that's not going to be content. Any of this is going to be able to be content. This guy's picture, we could come in here and save this image as, and if that picture were to have been saved correctly by the person who put the site together, then this would have been named something like Auto Body Repair Pittsburgh, right? Something like that, and then have your name at the end. Anything that somebody's typing into Google, that's the kind of stuff that we need to put in content. And so the front page, of, front page of your website needs to be between 1,500 to 2,000 words. And the reason why is just because when you think about Google, its whole premise is based off of somebody coming in and typing in three or four words and then finding what they want, right? So when we think about how does that even happen, we, it's, the reason it, or how it happens is because when they search for that word, it's because we have those words in our website. And so you're getting found by matching content with content. Uh, and it, it's just that Google's really good at doing it, but it really isn't that um, far of a stretch of the imagination, right? So as we come in and we look at the back of these guys' website, you can see that they have almost 1,300 of these backlinks. And what a backlink is, is when you reach out to other websites and they give you credibility online, the way that they do that is by posting a blog or an article or a section about you, a little listing about you, and then they're going to put a link in there that refers back to your website. When they do that, whatever credibility they have with Google then gets associated with your website. So if you reach out to shady websites in the back alley, they're going to, Google's not only not going to give you much credit for that, but sometimes they're going to flag you as another one of those shady websites. And so what we want to do is go out, we want to reach out to reputable websites around the internet that Google trusts specifically, and we're going to reach out to them and try and get the, uh, your content and your website linked um, onto their website, right? And so that's how we go out and we attack these things. We don't necessarily need to get 1,300. What we need to do is we need to reach out to more than 33 websites and get on there and make sure those websites are of quality, uh, reputable sites, right? When we look at the keywords, what we're talking about there is this is 164 keywords that somebody could type into the search bar that this website's getting found for. And so another way to think about that is every one of these keywords is an opportunity to be put at the top of that search bar or at the top of that listing page. And so when you think about when you go to Google, why do you assume that the people that are there, the websites that are there, are there, right? It's because they're quality, reputable websites, and Google thinks that you would be getting value by going to those websites. So there, Google is kind of vouching for you in a way if you refer at the top of their page, right? And so that's another way to look at it is getting ranked on Google isn't just a matter of getting found by customers. It's a matter of credibility that I outranked all of my competitors on the front page. I outranked all the directories that list all of the, my competitors. I did all of that because of my reputation, right? So that's really important when we think about that stuff. So these guys are getting almost 150 people to their website every month, right? So we look at these guys, and again, their website isn't anything fancy, not very big. It doesn't hit that 1,500 words that we talked about. And so all of these are pressure or pain points for them that we can come in and capitalize on. So if we come in and save this one, there we go. We can see that it's full service repair center, Pittsburgh, Pittsburgh, you know, all that, Collision Inc., and so all of those are going to be keywords that Google is actually going to be finding as it picks up that picture. And so that's something to keep in mind, again, as we build out the website, as we put content on there and pages or pictures, that we want to go ahead and optimize all that so that way we speak to Google. So as we go into the back of the website here, you can see that they're sitting at a 17-0. And like I had mentioned earlier, when you reach out to websites and you're getting um, low reputation websites to be referring back to you, it's not only not going to help, it's going to hurt you. And so even though these guys are sitting at almost 800 of these backlinks from 16 websites, Google's giving them a zero trust rating, and which is surprising that they even got found, right? But that's what we're talking about when we're talking about this is where the competition is at. The competition level is low, and so if we come in and capitalize on this, we're going to be sitting at the top of the Google uh, before you even know it, right? All right, so let's talk about citations. So when we're looking at trying to get put in the map pack, when somebody searches for a keyword, we want two things to happen. Ideally, we'd like to have the keyword in our name. It's not always going to happen, but when we're using making a GMB, 
it doesn't have to be your exact business name. You can say HC Armstrong Co. Dash Auto Body Repair, and then you'd be found for that keyword, right? So you're not saying that this is my name, that you're saying this is my name and here's what I do, right? So it's not a matter of changing your business name, it's a matter of getting found for the keyword. And so then after that, we want to be competing for citations. So if you had had HC Armstrong Co. Auto Body Repair, you would have been found for auto body repair, and then you and Belisario would have been sitting right at the top together, right? Because you guys have the same amount of citations. The way we can counteract that is with a website with more keywords in it, and then go out and get more citations in the competition. And between those two things together, we can outrank them even if our uh, the keyword isn't in our name specifically, right? All right, Jason, I really hope that helped you out. Hope that was valuable. If you have any questions or would like to move forward, please reach back out to Eddie uh, and let's get this rolling. Thanks. Take care.